Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork. If you enjoy the content, subscribe below now or up above at the end of the video on the easy to use widget. This is going to be a Vancouver Canucks season preview for your young Vancouver Canucks team that is led by some great young talent of Elias Pettersson. You got Basili Pakolzin coming over from St. Petersburg of the KHL, who's a very solid power forward. You also have Will Lockwood, not too far away, coming, uh, obviously played some with uh, Utica and is a Michigan grad who has very good foot speed and is an ideal bottom six guy that's physical in the future as well as Niels Hoglander, who already looked good in his cup of coffee and is only going to get, well, not really a cup of coffee, it was 56 games, actually, I should pause on that and not say a cup of coffee, uh, 27 points in 56 games. Jason Dickinson is a nice player from the Stars. Matthew Highmore is a nice little player from the Blackhawks organization. Bo Horvat's one of the more underrated players in hockey. Connor Garland's a great, nice goal-scoring piece that's just entering his prime age of 25. So this team is fun young and has a good young budding four coming up they have them projected you guys fourth in the in the atlantic division there and uh or fourth in the pacific division excuse me i think that is kind of where the projection will lie right on the outside looking in for this vancouver canucks team because there's a couple things that needs to go right you got the young jack rathburn it seems like He's going to get a chance, since otherwise you would have Luke Shen or veteran Brad Hunt. Those are just kind of the journeyman guys that play the six, seven minutes. So you're probably going to be able to see, and you're probably going to want to see what he's able to do. So if he's able to come come in and be that very good bottom guy, you're going to have an extra defenseman there. Tucker Pullman, you guys developed into a good guy. Quinn Hughes is going to keep getting better and better and also get better on his other end. Ekman Larson, how does he integrate into Vancouver? Does he come in and turn into some of the old OEL and regain his form out of that kind of crapshoot mediocre situation down there in Arizona right now? And is he going to reemerge as a great center, or not a great centerman, a great defenseman that's able to push the play to his centerman and other forwards? Or is he going to just keep being this solid OEL that is kind of a shell of his former self? If you get the old OEL or a fraction of the old OEL, Quinn Hughes keeps emerging. Obviously, Pedersen, you got Horvat, you got Peterson, and then you have Garland really break out and have his best season with y'all. You definitely have a chance for that needle to move from fourth to third place. Because being projected, excuse me, at fourth is right on the outside looking in. All you need is a few things to move that needle. And then another thing that's going to be interesting on this team is coming over from a different Canadian team, obviously, is Alex Chason, not a fast skater anymore. So you're going to have to be able to get him in front of the net, use that to generate. It makes sense putting him with Peterson and Miller, but it's going to be interesting if that's what they decide to do. What he's going to do fully and how long that's going to last, because he's not going to be able to keep up with those guys that well. That if Niels Hoglander is playing really well, or even a Matthew Highmore starts the season well, or Vasily Pakolzin, who's a talented power forward, as we already mentioned, you're going to maybe see those guys move up because Alex Chason's more of a bottom sixer. He can't skate with the best of them, but he is a good net front presence that plays with a physical game. So I think this team is well put together. You obviously have a very good developing young goaltender in net in Thatcher Demko. He brought in a veteran backup for him, which I think is very smart. You have Nicholas Patan, who's a solid depth forward, as well as Brad Hunt and aforementioned Luke Shen on defense. So I think this team is nice and well put together. Um, you're going to be able to have a nice productive season that you see the Picolsons, the Rathburns, the Hoglanders, um, coming over the Dickesons you would hope would improve on your team, and then Connor Garland integrate himself well to the lineup. The question mark is, how great does Oliver ekman Larson look in Vancouver? If you have these guys, one of them compete, say, for the Rookie of the Year, nobody expected certain guy there's different years you ex don't expect different guys to compete for the rookie of the year but then they come in and do so if Vasily Pakols and or Niels Hoglander can compete for that um well Niels Hoglander played too many games last year so if Vasily Pakols can compete for that he wouldn't qualify you will be able to have 
a huge incentive there that is going to push you over the top and maybe get you from fourth to third because you already have the talent of aforementioned Hoglander and you have the defensive prowess you brought in of different guys like Jason Dickinson as well as you also, of course, have Tanner Pearson that adds to your offensive side and you have Bo Horvat who, of course, is also very good on both ends on defense. So I think this team is full of talent, a full of young talent mixed with veteran talent and that's always good to have. You also have a great young goalie as well as with one of the better backup goalies in the NHL, and Yaroslav Halak, who's a good veteran. So I think this team is going to be good this year. I think they're going to be right there to the end competing for a playoff spot. Having them at fourth on the outside looking in is probably where you guys are at coming into this season, Canucks fans. But that's because you have to really see what OEL was able to do. As soon as OEL, if he flips that switch and you have Garland have his best season, but Colson comes in and kicks butt from the KHL, that changes everything, and you can easily move that needle from fourth to third place. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe down below if you did or up above on the widget. Congratulations on um, having a very nicely formed young team and pro crop of prospects coming up and some that are already up in Hoglander, Picolson, and Rathburn Canucks fans. And good luck on the season this year. Go Canucks. Good luck this season in Vancouver. Peace out, everybody.